What's going on guys? Me Bethel Beth and Legavio, and this is part two of the first ever Brickstorm Q&A. Uh, so you guys put your questions down in the comment sections. Uh, so I'm just going to read them. So let's just get in right into it. Uh, this is not scripted. So uh, everything is raw footage. Uh, there's no script to this video. So if I mess any words up or if I can't really explain some things. Uh, that's why I just wanted to put that out there uh, before we got right into it. Uh, but first question, uh, and I'm going to be putting all the questions up on screen. Uh, who and what inspired you to do YouTube and stop motion animation? That is a great question. Uh, who inspired me to do YouTube was really just all of the Lego YouTubers, uh, mainly uh, I think Solid Brick Studios, uh, people like, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, Gareth Pug, or, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, uh, but also, um, it was, I forget his name, uh, Joseph DeRose, uh, he made the, uh, stop motion movie Paired, uh, and I thought that was a great movie, and that really inspired me, uh, to do stop motion animation uh, as well as YouTube when I saw uh, all the people who enjoyed it uh, and the fact that he had fun making it, uh, that really inspired me. Uh, and there are a bunch of others. Uh, I just can't say them right off the top of my head. Uh, so who is really all the people that I used to watch uh, that made great videos? Uh, and what really boils down to the fact that they had good quality content that I really enjoyed and a lot of people other enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, hope that answers your question. Next uh, is why did you create the channel and what did you expect the channel to become? I created the channel in hopes of creating a community uh, as well as, uh, you know, trying to have the same amount of fun that the other YouTubers did, uh, and it looked like a lot of fun as well, uh, so that's why I created the channel. Uh, I, I expected the channel to become a space of community, uh, and I feel like it has, uh, and I've made a lot of great friends via YouTube, uh, people... Uh, off the top of my head are Crimson Toaster, Brick Lab Studios, uh, Brick Collection. Uh, so all of those people I've made friends with uh, because of YouTube. And that was really my goal was to try to make a space of community uh, and just give people quality content while having fun in the process. Uh, next is who are your top five clones and why? If you're talking about... Uh, Star Wars clones, uh, like in-universe clones, not Lego clones. Uh, number one is Rex. Number two is Fives. Uh, number three would probably have to be Jesse. Number four is probably, uh, that's a tough one. I'll say Heavy, and then five is Kicks. If you talk about Lego clones that, uh, Lego themselves have officially made, it would probably be, uh, let's see here. Uh, gotta go with the uh, Arc Trooper. These are in no particular order. Uh, the Arc Trooper from 2012, I believe. Uh, the 2013 Captain Rex, once again in no particular order. Uh, I would say Arc Trooper 5s, but they kind of messed up his figure. Uh, probably the Clone Lieutenant, uh, as well as the uh, Clone Captain. Those were really good. Uh, actually, scratch the Clone Captain. Uh, I would put the... Uh, uh, 2013 P2 Grunt in there, uh, as well as the, uh, Clone Wars Clone Trooper. Uh, if you're talking about customs that I've made, uh, top one, or number one would have to be my custom Rex that was seen in part two of Amadana. Uh, and then probably, uh, I would say Gamma, but he's a Clarmy Customs figure, uh, so, 
it's not gonna be him. Uh, but I'd probably say like uh, people like Jet and Click, uh, as well as some other guys that I'm not going to name uh, because they will be seen in other videos. Uh, so yeah, why is I really just think they look cool? Uh, and for the custom clones that I've made, I think that they are uh, good figures and I'm proud of them. Uh, so hope that answers your question. Uh, <laughs> Crimson Toaster asks, thoughts on toasters, toast, and Crimson Toasters? Uh, toasters are good. Uh, I like toast uh, and I like Crimson Toasters. So hope that answers your question. Uh, this one comes from Brick Collection. Uh, why do you buy fake Lego sometimes? So, I mainly only buy fake Lego if I'm trying to, you know, prove a point. Uh, there was one point in time that I bought fake Lego because everybody was saying, like, how crappy it is and how it's the worst thing ever. Uh, and I ended up buying a fake Lego set and I don't believe this video ever came out or I never made a video. Uh, but... What I did was I bought it to see, uh, it was one of the weird, uh, not name brands like Lebin or anything like that. Uh, it was one of the cheap Chinese companies. Uh, and so I bought it and it was, uh, pretty good quality. Uh, not that bad. Uh, so, uh, I was trying to make make a point, uh, that not all fake Lego is terrible. Uh, if you're talking about things like Weebrick, uh, then I just did that to keep the cost down of my videos, uh, because I wasn't in the mood to spend, what, like, almost a dollar a piece on, uh, 2x2x3, uh, gray slopes for Amadonna. Uh, so I just did Weebrick because I had to buy like 700 of them. Uh, actually, I think the number was like 890 something. I don't know exactly. Uh, but if you're talking about like my Republic gunship, my ATOT and dropship, my MTT, uh, those sets, it's mainly just to keep the cost of production down uh, when the only handling of these sets is going to be like light play, like I did, uh, like. Usually right after I film a video, I'll play around with the set for a little bit, uh, but it's mainly to keep the cost of production down because I don't feel like spending, you know, $400 on an MTT, uh, $200 or more on a gunship, and then like $600 on an ATOD and dropship. Uh, so instead, I can get them for a tenth of the price, uh, which also means for the same price, I can buy 10 of them. Uh, so that is mainly why I buy fake Lego. Uh, so, top three is, just for summary, uh, to prove a point, to keep the cost of production down, or to buy in high quantity. Uh, face reveal when? Probably not anytime soon. Uh, I really don't think I'm going to do a face reveal. Uh, it's 100% not going to be this year. I can tell you that much. Um, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I just don't feel like I want to do a face reveal anytime soon. Uh, so, hope that answers your question. Uh, why is your name Brickstorm? I honestly do not know. Um, so, when I created the channel back in 2020, uh, I had the name Brickstorm in my head, and I'm not really sure why I came up with that name. Uh, probably because it sounded cool at the time. Uh, and the name just stuck, uh, and that's the name I've been using ever since. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, now, that was from the community post, so now let's head over to the YouTube video. Uh, what is your favorite type of Lego theme? Uh, favorite type of Lego theme? Uh, I assume that you mean, like... You know, things like Ninjago, Chima, Star Wars. Uh, top three are easy. Star Wars, City, Ninjago. Uh, although I do not like the Ninjago Legacy uh, or the new Dragon's Rising sets. Uh, the Crystal Arc uh, or any of the 
ones from the new shows. Uh, I mainly like the older sets that are from the early seasons, like uh, season three, four, and five. Uh, so yeah. Next question is, what is your dream set? If you're talking about dream sets that I don't have, in well, what sets I want in terms of I don't have in my collection, I would probably say uh, the UCS Death Star, that is the top of my list. Uh, and if you're talking about uh, things that LEGO hasn't made, uh, I'm not really sure. There are a lot of good choices, but I'd probably say like um, Umbara arc sets because we never got those. Uh, well, we did get a couple or yeah, we got like three, uh, but I really would like to see those. Uh, so, hope that answers your question. Uh, what's your favorite Skibbity Toilet episode? Uh, none. I don't like it. I really just can't understand it, really. Uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna leave that to, uh, all the Gen A's. You guys can enjoy that. Uh, I just personally do not enjoy that. Uh, and yeah, I think that's all of the questions. Uh, so I hope I answered you guys' questions. If you have any other questions, uh, I'm not going to make a video about it, but I will answer all your questions in the comments. So if you have any questions that were not answered, you can put them down in the comment section below. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. It was a lot of fun to make. Hopefully I was able to answer most, if not all of your questions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.